Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for January 4th. January 4th. Today is my son's birthday, my first son. So happy birthday to my first son. Um, I wanted to tell you about my angels real quick because I know I'm going to get questions. Um, I ordered these online and they have arrived and they are pretty beautiful. As I'm rubbing my chest. I'm just going to tell you what they are. This is... Uh, this is Archangel Gabrielle, okay? Archangel Gabrielle is often shown as a woman. She is a primary messenger of God. She grants wishes and hopes to mortals as well as joy, mercy, truth, justice, miracles, and love. She also fights greed. This is Archangel Uriel. Very, very well made. Did I say Uriel? I'm sorry. Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Sorry. Uriel is on my mind. So that this is the one that I've been thinking about, thinking about, thinking about. So uh, this has got to be a message. Uh, Uriel. Archangel Uriel. Uriel means flame of God in Hebrew. According to the revelation of something, Estras, Uriel is the angel sent to God to instruct him and is one of the seven angels to rule at the end of the world, often identified as a, as a cherub, an angel of repentance. Uriel watches over thunder and terror, hell, and can be seen as pitiless, carrying a weapon or warning. He, also, he is also the angel who warned Noah of the great flood. Uriel, Uriel is the fourth archangel to the three, Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. However, at the Council of Rome of 745, Uriel's name was one of the names taken off the list of angels eligible for veneration, whatever that means, I don't know. Uriel watches over thunder and terror, hell. There must be a reason why I like him so much. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so then we have, and I have Michael, you've seen him, and I'm, I'm going to get the matching one, it's, you know me, I, it's already in the works. Raphael. Raphael. I'll get to the reading and you can you guys can skip ahead and whatever. I know that people are gonna ask, so I might as well just say it now. Raphael, this archangel is extremely healing to all living beings. Raphael grants joy, healing, love, miracles, and grace. Also said to be protective of travelers guarding and guiding those who take outward and inward journeys. This is perfect for me to have. Okay, so anyway, those are my three new angels, and Michael, that to complete the set, is on its way. So, yeah, now we're going to start the reading for the 4th. January 4th, what do we have? January 4th. What do we have for January 4th? Four has always been my lucky number since I was a kid. Just, you know, too much information, I know. Both of my sons were born on the 4th. Four is the number of angels. Isn't that funny? It is. It's an angel number. Weird. Howard. Something has to do with angels. There's something going on that has to do with angels. Interesting. Oh, heaven sent. 
This is something being sent from heaven. Amazing, amazing, a blessing from heaven. Wish fulfillment. This is a card of protection as well. So, yeah, there's something going on here. Oh, Eight of Cups, you know. Sometimes people walk away and it's because they're protecting you. It's funny, I posted a quote yesterday on my, on my page. It says, uh, they didn't leave you. It says, they didn't leave you. I removed, I moved them out of your way. Ha! Ah! Universe. I moved them out of your way. Universe. Signed, the universe. Aha! Uh -huh. Makes sense, it does. Mmm, wisdom. I'm going to get the rest of the cards before I go further. Ooh, in reversed. Yikes. Ah. You've been waiting for this blessing, huh? Somebody has been waiting for this blessing after somebody has walked away. They've been waiting for their reward. They've been waiting for that guidance. They've been waiting for what they wished for. There's no doubt about that. Somebody's been waiting. Maybe getting sick of waiting. No patience by the looks of things. Interesting. Maybe getting frustrated. Somebody removed, a there's a negative situation that has been relieved, released. Something that was un, un, uh, unfulfilling has been released. That's, you know, that whatever you have lost so much sleep about is being, you know, healed or removed in some, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, somebody's no longer stuck. Is it you? Uh, wow. What the hell? No longer stuck. I'm not stuck anymore. I'm not stuck anymore. Oh, boy. So, broken free. Yeah, somebody has, has removed themselves or they have been, you know, maybe the universe removed somebody that was toxic in your life. You know, they, they work in mysterious ways, right? And, you know, there's been, there's been a lot of anxiety and there's been a lot of hurt and there's been a lot of pain. But it's like wherever you've been stuck in that mindset that you've been stuck in and you're not there, I think somebody's not there anymore. They've, they've had a time of introspection. They've had a time of reflection. It's like, I'm not going to put in effort to this stagnant situation. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stay stuck. Somebody's not staying stuck. They're not. And, you know, it feels like you may be closing yourself off somebody is anyway is closing themselves off to love it's like i don't i don't have time for love i i don't i don't have time for love i i i you know we have somebody here that is is probably staying in a hermit mode you know i don't i don't i don't i don't have time for love right now that's what it looks like to me there's not, there's not any love in these cards. And we got, we got somebody here who is focused on everything but love. Seriously. Focused on everything but love. Focused on money. Focused on job. Focused on home. Focused on finances. Stubborn. Um, a little closed off. Uh, not wanting to probably nurture any kind of relationship. And it's like, I'm finding my power. Somebody is finding their power. They're finding their truth. It's like redefining myself. Somebody is redefining myself through isolation. I'm going through some sort of awakening. These are both awakenings. 
So somebody is going through some sort of spiritual awakening. And, and, and what they've done is, is they've released something that was toxic. There's, there's no doubt. Somebody has released something that was toxic, something that they were addicted to. There's an addiction being released, an obsession. This is an obsession. Somebody is seeing the truth about an obsession. That's what it was. No longer, re no longer resisting change. <laughs> no, I'm not going to resist this anymore. I'm not going to hang on to this anymore because it was just an obsession. It was just a lie. It was just my ego. It was just my pride. It wasn't good for me. It wasn't healthy. And I'm releasing it. And I'm just going to go on my own. I'm going to go on my own to heal. To heal. Somebody is walking away from an emotionally unfulfilling situation that has been kind of really causing them a lot of depression, causing them a lot of anxiety, causing them a lot of uh, sleepless nights. But it's like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm letting go of this worry. And it looks like whoever this person is, is investing their energy into their own healing. I'm investing into my healing. My truth. So I feel like somebody is going within to become consciously aware of who they are. Are they focused on love? I don't really see that. I don't see a lot of love in these cards. Let's see what comes up. We're going to add some of this deck. Um, somebody is, is planting their seeds someplace else. You know, I'm planting my intentions, setting my intentions, you know, and sending them to heaven, and they will manifest in time, you know. Um, somebody is definitely not putting in effort into the negative situation that didn't fulfill them anymore so I'm not even gonna focus on this at all I'm I'm ready for this change I'm ready for this change perhaps after stubbornly holding on for a really 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 long time somebody has is taking back control taking back the power taking back my power finding their power finding their strength Working on their health. It's my health. I gotta work on my health. I gotta work on my money. I gotta work on everything but love right now. That's what it looks like to me. I mean, there's no love in these cards. I can't pretend that there is, and I'm sure. I mean, there ain't. I can't pretend that there is, and I'm sure that there is nobody else that could either. There is no love in these cards other than healing. We have healing that's happening. Ultimate healing. Now, wish fulfillment is coming. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. And that's exactly what it is. It's a time to release all the shame that was brought on by this unfulfilling situation. It's time to cleanse. And that, we have a, like a cleansing going on. That's what's going on here. Um, victory. Because that's what you need to do to get to victory. you got to complete 10. I mean, 8 plus 2 is a 10. A completion. Somebody is completing a cycle and heading right towards victory. A completing a really negative cycle. Negative, negative, negative. Could be quitting. Somebody could be quitting their job. It's like, I'm not going to stay here anymore. I mean, that's, this is like, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. Somebody could be leaving a relationship because I'd be better off on my own. I don't, I don't need this negativity. There's definitely, somebody has been in a negative, very, very depressive situation right here. And it is absolutely being let go. Somebody is walking away from a depressive situation. I'm not putting in effort. I'm going on my own. See ya. And they're headed right towards victory because they're putting themselves first. Somebody is headed towards victory. Ooh, and it's because they take action. Now, this converts to an eight, which is the power. You find your power, you take action, you you head in a new direction, and 
it looks as though you're not going to be on your own. Somebody's going to be right behind you. Somebody's going to be right, right, right behind you. Somebody's going to have your back. Wherever this person is. I don't like seeing that Queen of Pentacles in reversed. I really don't. It looks like she's pretty, uh, you know. <sighs> Maybe she's suspicious. She's suspicious. She's suspicious. She's jealous, perhaps. Who knows? We have this. This is a person who is very... Well, right now, she's not. She's ungrounded. She's not grounded, and she needs to get grounded. She needs to get her feet back on the ground. And that's what's happening here. She's taking effort. She's taking, or she's taking action to put her life back together. Whoever, the, or his or her, we have man or woman, doesn't matter. We have somebody that is taking action to get their life back on track. Seriously, this is that's what this is. Get your life. That's what this is. I'm taking back the power. No doubt, somebody is taking back their power. There's, there's abs that is both of these cards. Somebody is taking the power back from something that was unhealthy. Taking the power in my own hands, and I'm not focused. I mean, I still don't. I don't see any love. Really, I don't. I mean. I don't, I mean, I'm not really focused on love. That's what she is, or he, up, or reversed, okay? I'm not really focused on. Now we have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. I mean, it could be for anybody, but Pisces. But this is not holding on. Not holding on. Waiting, waiting, yeah, waiting for that arrival, waiting for the right one, waiting for the truthful, honest person, waiting to go through that gate with the right one. And somebody's going to come, okay, somebody is coming, somebody is coming, so somebody is absolutely waiting, somebody is waiting and somebody is coming, they're working on themselves right now. Doing what they need to do to be ready for this victory. And they're going to get the wish fulfillment that they need. Oh, broken heart. Now these don't, I don't do these ones in reversed. But it, it was reversed, so I mean, I could do it reversed. Because if I was to put that right here. Taking back my power. And dealing with this broken heart. Taking the sword out of the heart. And she's waiting for somebody to come in and help her heal the rest of her broken heart. And this person is coming. This person is the opposite. But the perfect match. The perfect, perfect, perfect match. It's the missing piece. And whoever this person is that is taking back their power and releasing a toxic situation for good, no longer focused on it at all. You are your wish is going to be granted. Somebody is going to head in and walk down that path with you. They're coming. They're coming. She's waiting. She's she's waiting. Somebody is waiting. The prayers are, are heard. The prayers are being heard. And this door that that you have stayed in, you know, this, this place that you have stayed in, this broken area, this broken heart area that you have stayed in, it's going to be healed. It's going to be healed. It's going to be healed by this person that is your perfect friend. My other son's birthday was the 22nd. That's funny. Which equals a four. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is... Uh, 
angelic guidance. Angels are protecting you. Angels are bringing you this perfect match. This person is coming. Do not give up. Keep investing in yourself. Keep keep setting intentions. Keep manifesting. Don't don't uh Try not to get frustrated. T try not to lose your, your solid ground. Um, try to be realistic. Try to be patient. There's impatience here. This Queen of Pentacles reverse. She getting, she's getting impatient. She is getting impatient. So I feel like um, you just need a little bit more time because this person is watching. This person is 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 healing as well this person is going through their own awakening but they're thinking they're thinking about they're thinking about um coming in and, and the reason i say that is because before i started this i had the four of swords on the bottom and the four of swords in this deck is um it shows up in the corner uh, the knight of swords so the, this guy is about to come out of his Whoever this person is that's watching you, that wants to come after you, that know, probably sees that you guys would be a good match, this person is thinking about taking action right now. They're thinking about it, and they're going to. They're going to. They're Right now, they're just in the period where they're, they're probably really, really, really close to communicating. Really, really close. So I feel like we have some sort of release from something toxic for good for good I mean it's not even really a thought anymore for whoever this is for it's like it's not it's like I've done my healing and I'm and I'm working on myself I'm working on everything but love and now we have somebody that that's coming in to complete you you know to complete you so that's what I have for the fourth. Um, I see there could be some communication because this is a card of communication. Communi it could be the communication that you have waited for. Okay. Um, it could be the answer to your prayers. It could be the wish fulfillment. It could, could lead to extreme bliss. It could lead to wish fulfillment. Um, whoever this person is, you will not have anything to be ashamed of. This person will love you for who you are. You can be yourself. You, they're going to love the skin that you're in. Um, this person is going to put in effort to make the relationship grow, and it's going to lead to victory. This person is not your usual type. Um, they're not. They're not. But they're going to have your back. They're going to have your back. Okay? So it is absolute wish fulfillment, and this person is, they're coming, they're coming. But it looks like you need to be patient. You need to be patient for a little bit longer. They're coming. Is this somebody from the past? I, uh, yeah. You know, it all, past can be defined in so many ways, right? I mean, the past could be your your past lover that you were ever in love with, or it could be somebody that you were with six months ago, or it could be somebody that you knew when you were in high school. It could be somebody that you knew was an acquaintance, you know, somebody that you had a attraction to one time. You know, that could be the past. Could it be somebody from the past? Well, it could be. It could be. But it could be a new romance, a new love. I still, I don't think right now it's love. I think that this person is coming in. They are on their way. They're on their way. That's what I see. They're on their way. Don't give up hope. It's going to lead to victory. And that's what I have for the fourth. Talk to you next time.